What's up, YouTube? It's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul, and welcome to Tips and Tricks Thursdays, episode number four. Now, today I'm going to be talking about parallel compression. I'm sure you heard of it. Basically, what parallel compression does is that it makes your sound a lot thicker. So when you add parallel compression to any track, mostly your drums they will add parallel compression to, it'll make it just sound huge and thick, and that's the sound we always go for when we are editing our tracks. So let's get to it. I just have a little Apple loop here with um, some live drums. I'm just going to quickly play it for you listen to the tonality of it and how it sounds as a dry signal right now just listen to how it sounds all right as you can see the sound is a little bit um there's no oomph in the in the in the drum kit so i'm just going to add some parallel compression like we said all right, so let's go ahead and create some parallel compression. What we're going to go here is in our track, we're going to go to our send section and we're going to open up bus and we're going to send it through bus one. So basically we're sending this audio track to bus one, which is right here. And that's the beauty about logic is that when you create a send, it automatically puts the receiving end of that send right beside it. So you don't have to go searching in your mixer where it is. It's right beside it very easily, very quickly. Logic just gives it to you right there. And I'm pretty sure no other uh, DAWs do that. Now, if it does, you can correct me, but I know in Pro Tools it doesn't do that. You actually have to create this track right here. In Logic, it does it for you. What a beautiful thing. Let's go. It, makes, it just makes uh, your mixing a lot quicker and a lot easier. So before we get to this aux end right here, auxiliary track right here, we're going to create this send to send out at unity gain. So to send at unity gain which means zero, we're going to put it, we're going to hit option click. So again, you have to, this means how much volume this track is sending out to go into this track. So right now I'm sending it at unity gain, which is pretty much what you want to do for parallel compression. And up here, we're going to go to our inserts. And of course, we're going to bring in our compressor to create that parallel compression sound. Now what I do usually for the parallel compression, these are the settings I roughly start at and I tweak from there. I'm going to change the circuit type to FET. I'm going to make the attack a little bit uh, a little bit slower just so you get that pumping sound and the release I'm going to leave around, I'm going to lower it down, make a little faster release. Let's do it around 34 and uh, let's just make my attack a little faster and we are going to do the compressor Let's just actually, before I go ahead and tweak some more settings, I'm just going to go ahead and play the track. I'm just going to lower this just so I can see what is coming into my compressor so I know what I can do. But these are pretty much the attack and release. I pretty much set to that and then I adjust accordingly as I move forward. So let's go ahead and hit play. So right now I see no compression is really happening. So I'm going to lower my threshold down to about, let's say, 25. Now you can see some compression happening. Now I'm going to really pump it, so I'm going to bump up the gain a lot louder, and I'm going to make my ratio, very hard ratio, very high ratio, I'm going to bring it up to about 17, 18, let's say 18, and you can really see the track pumping here and the compression really kicking in. The knee I'm going to leave at that, and that is pretty much the setting, so as you can see, it is really pumping the sound, but I'll, as you can see, it's really pumping the sound, but you don't really hear it yet because, well... Even though I'm sending it at full volume, I didn't bring up my fader over here. So now let's take a listen as I bring in the parallel compression track into our main mix. You'll hear a huge difference in the drums. All right, doesn't that sound a lot better? Now I'm going to play it out. I'm just going to mute the parallel compression and I'm going to let you listen to the original track and I'm going to play the parallel compression with it and let you hear that. And you can hear the difference right away. So let's click play. Now without. This is no compression. Now with the parallel compression. Now without the parallel compression. And again with. Come on. 
as you can see, you can hear a huge difference in the drums. The drums just sound a lot thicker, a lot better than what it would normally sound like if you just left the regular track without any compression at all on it. All right, so there you have it. This is parallel compression in Logic using the Logic's compressor built-in plugin. I know what, I will probably post the preset, which I just used right here, just so you guys can bring it up quickly. You can call it parallel compression. Actually, I'll call it parallel compression, and you just easily bring it up and quickly set it, tweak it, whatever you want to do just to make it sound right for your track. I'm Adam from iMusic Mogul. I hope you use parallel compression. It is a big tool, and mostly everybody does use it. Again, more great videos coming soon. Remember to subscribe, comment, rate. You know the drill. I'll talk to you soon. Later. Thank you.